Hi, my name is Maria. I'm the owner of Sporta Club Barbershop um, in Carney, New Jersey. Today I'd like to talk to you about um, my shop. My shop, Sporta Cut, is a family barbershop. It's very kid friendly, as you can see. This is the toddler section, and um, I've got lots of decorations up, um, lots of, you know, Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse and Elmo. I even have a numbers chart where the children can count from 1 to 20. Um, you know, there's a lot to distract. There's even a popcorn machine in the back, if you notice, and a big race car to play the Wii, which we hung up for safety reasons. But anyway, um, I happen to specialize in children's haircuts, toddlers. Um, years ago, when I used to cut hair, I was petrified, to say the least, of cutting children's hair, especially toddlers, because they're so little and I didn't know what to expect. I used to uh, pretty much hide every time my boss called me to do a haircut. Pray Hail Mary's a whole haircut. From the beginning to end, couldn't wait till it was over with. And um, after I was done, my stomach was in a knot and it was just one of the worst experiences of my life. But I'm here to tell you today that I've overcame that fear and uh, today I'm in control. Today when that child comes in and the parent tells me it's the first haircut, you know what, providing that the um, parents listen and um, I call it my rules at Sportica because they have to have some kind of rules um, in order to cut children's hair because you cannot allow the parents and everyone else that comes along to just to stand by the child because that is the worst thing that you can do. The child needs to be um, seated in the car, strapped in, and the parents need to sit across. By doing so, um, it may sound cruel, but it's not. I mean, of course, no parent wants to see their child cry and, you know, the, their reaction is to comfort them, which is normal. However, um, when it comes to hair cutting, um, the worst thing that a parent can do is stand by the child. Because think about it, me as a stylist, I'm standing here, the baby's in the car seat, in the race car, and the child's standing next, and maybe there's two other people standing around. So think about it. The car is surrounded with people. The baby's here. The baby is petrified, scared, has no clue what's going on, sees me, never met me before, sees me with a scissor in my hand, charging at them. Obviously, they don't realize it, but they're going to get a haircut, but they don't know this is the first time here. Um, although it's very kid-friendly, it still has no clue what's going on. So by doing that, everybody's comforted. Comforting, tears are coming down, um, tissues everywhere, everybody's, you know, comforting the child. They're starting to um, shake the keys in front of them. That is one of the biggest mistakes ever. First of all, keys are disgusting. They're filthy, they're filled with bacteria, they're just gross. Second of all, um, they come by and they have you do the, their phone, with the video games or the cartoons. When a child is in distress, nothing will help. Absolutely nothing. You can put their favorite movie on, you can give them their favorite dessert, their favorite snack, nothing will help. That child wants to just run for the hills, throw darts at me, and get out of my shop. So, what I do here is I strap them in, I ask the parents very nicely, sit across, there's two chairs here, and I tell them how in the first haircut the child has no clue what's going on, it's hit or miss. They either don't cry or they cry. I mean, it's just that simple. So what I do is when I first start cutting here and the baby's sitting here, I get the spray bottle with the comb and I start combing. I don't spray yet. And I tell them, you're about to get a haircut and if they forgot their umbrella. I said, because it always rains at sport a cut. And they look at me a little confused because obviously it's not raining outside in that particular day. And it obviously doesn't rain in the barbershop unless there's a leak on the ceiling. But anyway, so 
I start to spray, say rain, rain, and some of them love it, some of them don't. You'll figure that out too as you go along. But, um, and bottom line is throughout the whole haircut, um, I talk to them, I recite the ABCs, their numbers, I tell them to look for Elmo, I tell them, I ask them what colors they see on the walls. And then, as soon, you know, in between the hair, obviously you brush them off a little bit. If there's a lot of tears, then you got to get, you know, some Kleenex and wipe them off. And um, periodically throughout the haircut, I do allow the parent to, um, you know, wipe off the face. Obviously, if there's excessive tears in here, you don't want to, the child to be full of the tear. So that, that's when I step away for a minute. And then as soon as the mom or dad is done, I go back to the haircut. And then I, um, I finish off, if it's a boy, obviously, with the little trimmers. But before I go right to the neck and the ears, and you got to be careful, because the trimmers, um, sometimes, since the baby's skins are so delicate, it burns, it, it, um, it cuts them. So sometimes I, I tell the parent first, if they want it, because if, I really don't recommend when they're that little, because their sensitive skin, it just cuts them, and it's not worth it. But, um, but before I do that, I get their little hands and I do it on the machine first with their hands so they feel it and they hear the noise because it is quite loud. And that way it gets a little bit more comfortable. And that's when if a child doesn't cry, they definitely will cry with that part because it scares them, it's loud, and like I said, it hurts them because I know it nicks once in a while. So it's got to pull the hair. It's not, I, that can be very comfortable. But anyhow, um... But providing that the parents listen and obey and respect your wishes, it should go smoothly. And then afterwards, after the first haircut, they get a haircut certificate, which I can show you right here. It can be framed. Um, it has a date and so forth. You can put their child's picture on this side, a lock of hair on this side. And it's a great memento for any family member. And... Um, that's um, basically what I do here. Um, there's never an appointment. You can just walk in. I'm here Monday through Saturday. And um, the number here is 201-955-1107. I'm located in Kearney, New Jersey. And um, I'm not sure if most of you know this, but I did write a book recently. It's called Dread Taking Your Child for a Haircut. And it has all the ins and outs, the details on what a child should expect for when getting a haircut, um, parents' questions and concerns, and information on stylists on what to expect when cutting children's hair. It's uh, informative and it's nine chapters and it's available on paperback, which is $7.99, or on a memory stick for $5.99. You can Buy the book at sportacut.com or sportacut the barbershop. Just walk in. I thank you so much for your time. And I hope that this information has been useful. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.